Airspeed is critical information for flight operations. It keeps us pilots out of trouble, and it keeps us flight test engineers on track. The earliest and simplest method for measuring airspeed was a sort of a flat plate on an arm that swung out of the way with airflow hitting it, and measured the airspeed on numbers on a sort of a protractor thing on the wing. It's crude, but it's effective. Most of the airplanes flying today use a more robust mechanical system like this. In this system, air enters the pitot tube, here, and flows into a bellows inside the airspeed indicator. The pressure of the air inside the bellows is called the stagnation pressure. Meanwhile, static pressure is fed in from the static port into the housing around the bellows. As the airspeed changes, the bellows will expand or contract, and this motion is translated into a reading on a dial by a series of gears. Most modern aircraft with glass cockpits, and all of our flight test instrumentation, use an electronic differential pressure transducer like this. But you can still find this setup, because it's extremely accurate, and it's extremely reliable. It's a perfect backup.